you are asking me yes ma'am please uh, okay your voice is very less clear okay yeah there is some technical problem i don't know sir yes i will start okay so i am going to talk about my two decades of experience in rehabilitation of cancer patients see for a pretty long period i am working with cancer patients from all across the country and also from some countries abroad so what i have seen with my experience related to prosthesis i am going to share that with you it is not changing so when we talk about prosthesis our first question that comes to our mind is what is prosthesis so prosthesis is something that is an artificial extension that replaces the missing part of the body but many of us believe that prosthesis is meant for a uh, only show but by the end we will come to know it is not only cosmetic i will uh, come up with the conclusion so then you will have a great insight about it so when we talk about prosthesis there can be artificial eye it can be artificial eyebrows it can be recording in progress it can be face prosthesis or also it can be post ca eye cancer patient when the eye is removed they also wear prosthesis there are some cases who are eating you know that pan gutka and other things so they develop oral cancer so in that case maxillofacial prosthesis is needed and some people who undergo chemotherapy their hair falls so they need cranial prosthesis apart from that some patients need nose ear breast finger even toes prosthesis there are lot of people who cannot become pregnant so they look for option of surrogacy but they want to hide the fact from general public that they are not pregnant so in that case they wear silicone pregnancies like in this diagram you can see the belly is flat but with the help of silicone belly prosthesis the uh, person is masking that she is not pregnant but she is actually not pregnant but she is hiding that she is pregnant so there are other prosthesis which is known as eyelid crutches and prosthetic limbs in next page i'll show you about eyelid prosthesis so this is a patient she was born with droopy eyelid one eyelid was drooping down so she was wearing a prosthetic you know this is a kind of prosthetic crutch specs and the same patient after 10 years you can see this droopy eye and it is corrected with the crutch specs so when we talk about uh, cancer we know one of the most commonest cancer is breast cancer in breast cancer a lot of patient they undergo mastectomy the breast is removed after the removal of the breast many of them are advised to wear silicone breast but to the to my astonishment there are many patient who says that i don't need any prosthesis i am at home i am not a celebrity i am not meeting general public so why do i need a prosthesis but let me tell you if a breast cancer patient is not wearing a breast prosthesis she is going to have a problem with the balancing of her body slowly and gradually her backbone and her spine will bend and this person will always have issue with the gait gait means the posture how she is standing so with all most of the cancer patients what we do we give them these kinds of sponge breast these are the inner which has pocket in which they can wear it and apart from that they can also wear silicone breast so it is important to maintain the balance of the body so now if we come to face prosthesis uh, i don't know everybody knows or not there are lot of eye cancers which is known as retinoblastoma so this child was born with eye cancer and the eye was removed so after that she needs to wear a prosthetic eye if she is not wearing a prosthetic eye slowly and gradually the bone the bony structure will start receding back and once it recedes back she will not be able to have a normal healthy life and nor she will be able to fit with a prosthetic eye any time in future in her life so uh, that is actually not advisable so there are lot of people whom we see in the cinemas they wear prosthetic uh, you know makeup 
but in real life also we need lot of cross spaces in the next slide i will show you about thysical case so this is a thysical case so the child he when he was very small he used to see ramayana on television and he also made a bow and arrow and uh, from his friend's arrow his eye was damaged so this child was fitted with a prosthetic eye let me tell you the eye was fitted on the damaged eye itself this eye was not operated the same patient i am showing you after 10 years so he was 9 years so now after uh, the he's at the age of 19 you can see this photo so this is a case of corneal blindness you can see the cornea is becoming uh, white so this child uh, this boy this eye is not removed and the prosthetic eye is made matched and fitted on this eye and this eye will also move and with the specs these are specialized specs with this kind of specs nobody will be able to identify whether he is having a prosthetic eye because there is a proper blink proper movement and uh, nobody can make a difference so we also make prosthesis for uh, cancer victims apart from that acid attack victims so this man he had a acid attack and uh, his entire this portion got damaged so this is his impression which we take from some kind of a silicon material also and sometimes alginate material and uh, this is like wax model being made for the for the prosthesis so this is the silicon face prosthesis made and fitted to the patient so you can see this is his natural skin and uh, this one is the prosthesis so uh, since we are sitting in bengal we know lot of us are very fond of eating fish so many a times the uh, kata what you say gets uh, it hurts our finger so the commonest kind of cancer that happens in our place or the place where people make fish is nail bed cancer so in that case the finger is removed so once the finger is removed the person has to go for a prosthesis and this kind of cancer is actually known as subungual melanoma or the nail apparatus melanoma so be careful when you try to prepare fish so it is one of the commonest cancer found in finger okay now when we talk about cancer we always know that the patient uh, some of most of the patient have to undergo chemotherapy so when the patient is undergoing chemotherapy you will find that uh, there is a hair fall so there are different kinds of wigs and uh, i would say that many of the hospitals what they do before uh, doing mastectomy or before uh, shaving of the hair they advise the patient to consult a rehabilitation center and everything is pre planned from before like the patient has been already given the measurement of his head or circumference of the head his eyebrow design and everything his breast and everything is already measured so when the patient gets admitted in the hospital and when he, she returns nobody is able to make out much difference so you can mask the whole theory of cancer so these are the ty types of hair cancer wigs which are advised to the patient and you can see this uh, after chemotherapy the girl has lost the eyebrow and this is the prosthetic eyebrow the patient is wearing so if we go ahead with this we will come to know that what i was telling in the beginning that rehabilitation is a ready solution to enhance the appearance of our disfigured body part and must be advised to the patients who need it many a times what i feel as a practitioner practicing more than two decades that patient always think that prosthesis is uh, for rich people and it is not always necessary to wear a prosthesis but uh, if you ask me i will tell you wearing prosthesis is important not only for cosmetic beauty but also to restore the body's med, uh, you know medical cosme uh, cosmetics you can say medical cosmetics in the terms uh, to maintain the body's posture it's a equilibrium so prosthesis is also important for that so my take away message would be for everybody is uh, rehabilitation is not only about cosmetic beauty it is also has medical advantage so you can see my email address in case you have any query you can always write up to me 
and uh, we can always uh, discuss and also work together thank you Well, uh, now I would go ahead and uh, call upon the next presenter.